Uh, being the only carpenter in taste, you must keep you busy. This is one word for it. Overworked, that's another. It was easier when... Uh, it was easier my dad and I could uh, do the work together. But since his uh, stroke is what it is. But I like being a carpenter. It's uh, necessary work. Keep me from uh, talking to everyone in the town and aware... And aware of what's troubling them. Many people in tasting are struggling, Andreas. The peasants especially. I heard. I heard it was from uh, Clara. They used to be able to pay a portion of the tax in crops, but they haven't put an end to that. Now if they get a bad price from the miller, they don't have enough to pay the, the abbey. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. The abbot might own the land, but it doesn't work yet. He has reaped the benefit of others' efforts. But it's not just him. The law, imperial law. That's what gives him, gives him power, so maybe the laws have to change. But those laws are the basics, basis of our civilization. They are what separate us from, separates us from beasts. Sprung like a man who had never been on the wrong side of it and prove probably never will be. Anyway, I should get back to digging. It's going to take a while. This is all on my own. Uh, you got ways to go. Don't, why don't you take a look around? Okay. Pat. Uh, oh, Father Matthias is here. With a wooden headstone, so things must be worse for the Abbey than I thought. The Abbey must be having money troubles. That would explain why the Abbots were uh, wringing the peasants dry. The rest of the Abbots are in. Uh, are in the crypt or under the church. I took a look at them while I was inspecting the foundation with Endris. They were so built on top of an old Roman fort. Not cheap to maintain by any means. Surely they can do better than a... Uh, than a wooden gravestone. Take it up with the abbot if it bothers you so much. Me, I think they should all get wood. Well, of course. He gets paid for it. Sister Marina, the librarian. Probably before your time. I was a boy when she passed. My father spoke well of her, though. Said she reminded him, al reminded him of his own grandmother, a sweet woman who loved the Lord. I expect the abbot will have her dug up soon. Ah, uh, for the crypts. A ghoulish tra tradition, I always thought. What's the dead? Uh, what's dead should remain buried. But then uh, they don't have much spe much space here. And uh, much, many of the monks are in the uh, long for death themselves, so. Uh, Mother Brunhilde. Abathisa? I doubt any more in that one. Even the age, I guess she's uh, long been moved to the Abbey Crypt by now. Your word Father Gernot might try and your word Father Gernot might try to punish us for this. Uh, God willing you will be done before he finds out about it, about it. So you want me to speed this up speed it up? Sure, what, what do you care about my back? Christ. Oh there. Short anger mon coming this way. Ah, uh, hell. Is all well here? Uh, we're digging up a grave. How are you? For what purpose? Someone has distur disturbed this grave and I suspect it's connected with the Baron's murder. Hmm, that's curious. If you're telling the truth. Even so, but Gerhard's grave is not your concern. You're not a member of this community, Andreas. Lie. 
The abbot gave me his permission. The rest is not your business. As the curator is my duty to prevent from mischief such as this. We cannot persuade him at all. I'm terribly convincing. We cannot persuade him. You are mistaken. Uh, Master Sinner, please clean up this mess. I'm going to speak with Abbott about this immediately. Is that going to cause problems for you? I'll talk it out with Abbott. Work things out. Sure, you just sweet talk your way out of it. Well, the sun won't wait. I better get back to digging. So he would actually dig it up entirely? Brother Jacob from Ekolong, did you ever meet him? We spoke a couple of times. He was a funny man, just about the only one of these monks with a sense of humor. A funny monk? I'm sad I missed him. He had a gift of manipulating his features and his voice to imitate other monks. A man like that weighs the that abbey. Well, I reached the body, but what, is something wrong with it? Looks fine enough, decaying, notwithstanding, but someone stuffed a sack. Stuffed a sack up under his ribs. Good god, let me see. What a strange collection of objects. Strange how. Uh, two are plated with pre precious metals and engraved uh, a silver. And are graved a silver cha chase rod and a golden plate. The rod has symbols of a zodiac on it. The plate has some script I don't recognize. And a knife. Seems ordinary enough, but together with the other two buried here, why would someone bury them here together? Because they, they are forbidden. Wait, there's blood in some of the symbols on this rod dry to be certain but not that old uh Fern tried cleaning this but it wasn't able to remove all the blood could this be what used to kill lawrence who buried this here anyway um i can't say but it may be connected to baron's murder what? None of this makes any sense. What's going on here, Andreas? That's why I need to figure it out, Otto. Thanks for your help. Alright, we're gonna eat. And then we're gonna work. I should find someone to eat with. Let's do it. Someone can eat with over there, okay. Fair enough, wait. Can I eat with the abbot? I can eat with someone in this side of the guest house. Who is inside a guest house? I can also eat with you. Don't worry, I will eat with you tomorrow. Who is inside a guest house? Oh, who are you? Oh no, it's you, okay. Uh, Master Mali, would you be, would you care to share dinner at my table? I would like to talk to you about my late husband. Of course. Uh, bless us, O Lord, the that is your gift, which we are about receiving your bounty. Blah 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 was staying in Innsbruck while my husband visited the Abbey. Uh, I will eat that. 
We meant to take the tour to the Alpine towns before returning to our home in Worms, but... Well, return we shall. I'm sorry for your loss, my lady. This sorrow is just the first of many, I'm afraid. Can we give the dog something? Are you married yourself, Master Mother? Uh, a woman waits for me in Nuremberg. When I when I finish my work here, I will be wed. Do you not look forward to the responsibilities of marriage, Master Mother? Perhaps it's no surprise you and Lawrence became fast friends. I imagine he saw something of himself in you. Uh, do you mean to say you knew of his excursions? Master Mary, very little of my husband is mysterious his wife. No matter what he may what he may fool himself into believing. Lawrence was a flawed man. He his various infidelities were no secret to me. But are we not all flawed before Christ? Um I see that. I loved him as a wife, should probably love her husband. But I would not say that we were friends. I only hope he is a his appetite appetites are not what led him to this end. I've been searching for an answer to that, to that corner myself. Were you alone so close that you would trouble yourself so? I fear um, I merely seek to see justice, sir, my lady. My mentor, Brother Pierre, was found with the Baron's body, but I do believe he I do not believe he killed uh, your husband. If not him, then who? Uh, there are many possibilities, both here at the Abbey and in town. Your husband managed to cultivate many enemies in a short time here. That does sound like Lawrence. He was a man of many op opinions, and he gave them freely. So all who would listen, and some who would not. The previous Abbot, Father Matthias, seemed to appreciate that about him. This new abbot is perhaps a more perhaps more con conservative. Father Matthias was an open-minded man from all I've heard, a true scholar. Father Gernot does not share Matthias' passion for the written word, yet endures the expense of it. To be put in such a position would make any man unhappy, I understand. I wonder what he will make of Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence gifts to the Abbey. Um, he had found a book about the treasure of the history of Taysing. He believed it contained some scandalous details. He said it corroborated fears. He said it cor cor corroborated fears Father Matthias had expressed, but he didn't share the particulars with, with me. Uh, was the appearance of the book particularly in, or noteworthy in any way? It was neither large nor small, bound in blue leather. Unfortunately, I never examined it closely. My apologies. I'm sorry, I can't be more help. I have some medication, but I lack my husband's thirst for knowledge. If you find the book, hopefully its significance will be apparent. If... If God wills it. I will not. Will you be returning home to Worm soon? Perhaps in a few days. Await an arrival of the Archdeacon. When, he, when his investigation is complete, I will go. Through the circumstances of my time here are, are dire, I'm in no hurry to return. You are a, dis, a, dis, you are a disarming man, Master Mahler. And much too easy to talk to. To be frank, I do not... I do not know what will become of me when I return to Worms. My title and residence may be in jeopardy. Lawrence and I have a son, but he is young yet. I don't know many of uh, the legalists. Uh, only that my position is at some risk. Well, would you like me to uh, allocate them for you? I studied Imperial Law at Erfurt. Oh, thank you, but no, I fear it will only <laughs> heighten my knees. I'm sorry to cut the conversation short, but I fear I must rest. Yeah, thank you for having me at your table. Yeah, be well, Master Mahler. And whatever anyone says of my husband, I'm certainly 
appreciate your friendship. Okay, it is time. Judgment is to be served. I didn't see what it wrote there, but it said the chapter house. We're gonna head up there. Father not. Master Mauler, if you think I'm unaware of your action on his ab in the past few days, you are mistaken. Oh. You were exhumed the corpse of one of the brothers of this abbey. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't, Andreas. We'll put it all back. Be quiet. I should have expected that, that Cur Otto Sim Simmerman would help you with such a ghoulish task. You don't have many friends in this town, Father Abbot. Also, you just happen to have a shovel. He'll pay for his role. He'll pay for his role in uh, obscenity in due time. I know uh, that your visitor would have Kemper and convinced her to request the legal status of her lease. You're trying to trick her. I don't need to trick her. I'm an abbot of Kirsau. I was elected to this holy position by my brothers. I was invested with power to rule this land by the lands of the Emperor God. No, no, no. Okay, no. By the em we're not in Warhammer. Um, whose own right was the the rivet from God himself. So forgive me if I do not respect the legal uh, posturings of a failed university student. Forgive me if I don't respect the moral authority of a corrupt abbot. It doesn't matter if you if you respect me. What you're doing is isn't legal. You don't decide that. And if you interfere again, you will pay for it. Now then, for all your meddling, you will not be welcoming yourself after your commission is completed. I apologize. I was only trying to help Brother Piero. It's too late for apologies. Your days of, of interfering in the daily life of this abbey will end. It was never my intent to interfere, Father Abbot. I'll leave it to Dark Deacon now. Try not to per produce yourself. God save you, Ma Andreas Mahler. Uh, please state your name for record. Uh, Andreas Mahler, German artist from Nuremberg. What is an artist doing in Kersu Abbey? Uh, the Abbey still has some commissions from the wealthy patrons and I need uh, the money before I return to Nuremberg. Arnold, please write that down. I think we are ready to begin. Of course, your reverence. Now then, Master Mahler, what was your relation to Lawrence the Baron Rothvogel? I only knew him for, for a few days, but we were on friendly terms. Do you feel you had a sense of him as a person? Um, yes, your reverence. How would you characterize him? A fine man, uh, no, confident, overbearing, used to get what he wants. Do you think someone would kill him for that? Someone, perhaps. It will need more than a perhaps. Someone had... Someone had to have a reason. If not uh, that, something else. Otherwise, it makes my presence here somewhat difficult to explain. The Baron Rothfogel was murdered here. In this very room, someone did it. 
Father Geron believes it was one of his monks, Brother Piero. I met with Brother Piero and questioned him at length. While it seemed unlikely that a man of his age and temperament would murder the Baron, he was discovered in, uh, yeah, like, what was it again? In blazing offense. Uh, technically, he discovered the corpus delicti, but it was not caught in the master model. I'm not interested in your clarifications, technical or otherwise, on uh, matters of Latin or law. If you wish to advocate on behalf of Brother Piero, I suggest shutting your mouth until I ask you a question. Piero has reasons to resent the Baron, the loss of his work, the insistence on discussing the writings of uh, the troublemaker from uh, Wittenberg. And as far as for his age and infirmity, I've, I myself have read many cases in which a man of modest strength succumbs to the temptations of the devil. Once seized by devilish fever and the poor sinner gains an infernal power that allows him to inflict grievous wounds, sometimes fatal. What I am saying is that in spite of the curious circumstances, Brother Piero is the most plausible perpetrator of uh, this most vile act. I understand that you are on friendly terms, Brother Piero. You also intend interacting with the Baron both in the town and in the Abbey. Did you witness anything to suggest someone else could have murdered Baron Ro Yes, okay. Uh, one of the nuns, Sister Matilda, may have wished re revenge on the Baron. Why would one of the sisters have ill will towards the Baron? It's my understanding that the sister had a little interaction with him. He certainly had... Uh, time enough to cause offense. Please explain. On his last visit several years ago, the Baron attempted to have his way with one of the nuns, Sister Matilda. She refused him and he beat her within an inch of her life, as I heard it told. She was hurried away to a hermitage to heal and to avoid a scandal, but Matilda still suffers. And you believe she wanted revenge? Yes, Mother Cecilia sent her to her hermitage if you need uh, corroboration. And what the Sister Matilda said on the matter? She didn't deny her anger towards the Baron, but she didn't deny that she killed him. Did deny that she killed him. Is Sister Matilda a strong woman? Yes, she is the seller for the nuns, so she toils more than the other sisters. Even so, it would be difficult for her to overpower a man of the Baron's size and strength. I discovered a shovel in the garden that Sister Matilda tends. It was stained with blood. That is certainly strange. Did you ask her about it? I did. She claimed to use to kill rabbit, kit uh, rabbit kittens in the garden. Your Reverence, I need to tell you about the relationship Sister Matilda has with one of the monks here. Why would he care? In an appropriate relation with Brother Voislav, the uh, seller. Are you proposing that this is something to do with the death of the Baron? Speaks to her character. The gulf between breaking a vow and character and murdering a, a man is vast young. Is vast young Master Mahler. Nevertheless, I will inform Father Gernold and Mother Cecilia. <laughs> yeah, no, now this is gonna be great. Uh, a widow in tasting, Olivia Kemperin. Of course he did. The Baron was responsible for the death of her husband. Responsible how? Years ago, when the Baron visited the tasting in the quarrel with the running camp camper, the two came to blows according to the, according to the widow, and the Baron beat running so severely he never fully healed from the injuries. He died not long ago, and their home is in legal jeopardy. The widow held the Baron responsible for all of this. And how do you propose this woman kill the Baron? 
He was not in a... He was not in the prime of his life, but certainly a robust man of all accounts. Uh, let's see. Can we kill with a blow at the back of your head? Yes, but with what? When I visited the widow's home, I found her late husband's walking stick. The head had been broken off. Did she ever explain for the damage? I didn't ask her, your reverence. Uh, yes. Your reverence, I would like to bring up a concern I have about Otilia's Cambrian's lease with the Abbey. Uh, no. No, but as uh, your presenter, Prince Bishop, and the Abbey rules these lands, I was hoping you might listen. Please be brief, Master Mahler. I have many more people to question. The abbot had brought a guy write a letter to the widow about reclaiming her land. It's based on a false claim. False in what way? They claim, they claim the lease was in the widow's late husband's running camper. It was not. The lease began generations early with Otilia's great great uh, great grandfather. What substantive bearing does this have on the abbot's claim? Uh, okay. The abbot has no reason to misrepresent uh, the lease unless the existing, le existing lease is unfavorable to him. If the existing lease allows for the widow to... Uh, allows the widow to uh, partition her land to other renters, she could pay the fees to land. Okay, uh, let's see with that. Yes, if it does, many peasants in the freeholds resort to such measures in our time. I think we did it. Very well, Master Malal. I shall make my own inquiry after I have completed my work here. Now then, let us return to the matter at hand. Um. No. I can think of no one else who could have caused harm to the Baron, your reverence. Very well. Are you aware of anything else that might shed some light on this case? Has Brother Florian told you about the note he found on the Baron's clothing? Yes, Brother Florian explained how he came to find the... Uh, uh, how he came to find it and told me its contents. Master Adler Jagger has entered his testimony in our register. I don't understand the implication. Who is the innocent? It is not clear to me either, your reverence. Do you believe the murderer wrote it? Whoever wrote it was a talented scribe. I understand Kurosawa is too. The elder brother Adog and the younger brother Guy. To be frank, your reverence, neither man, neither man has the skill to write in this way. There is something else about it. The style, it's just different. It's not like a docking guy's writing, unlike mine. Something's about the way the first and the second stroke meets the A and the G. Yeah, there. My voice is about to give up. Uh, yes, well, whatever the particulars, uh, it seems... Um, it will remain a mystery that it stands apart from the commission of the murder. Unfortunately, there is more to tell. I found more notes. Notes written in the same hand and on the same type of parchment. To those who had a motive to kill the Baron. This is deeply troubling, but again, beyond the bounds of my investigation. In any case, I thank you for bringing it to my attention. Of course, Your Reverence. Thank you again for your time, Master Mahler. Uh, would it would it be pertinent to me to obtain who the killer is? Let's try. Not at all. You're an educated man and have uh, conducted yourself appropriately in this inquiry. I reserve final judgment, of course, but who do you believe killed the Baron? 
Um, considering all the evidence. I feel that. Sister Mathilda is the most likely. She wanted revenge for what the Baron had done to her. Note that your contributions to this inquiry are appreciated. Thank you for your time and candor. You're quite welcome, your reverence. Until later, Master Muller. Until later, your reverence. Alright. Final day of law and judgment. Andreas, I didn't think you were coming to this. Uh, I didn't think I was here either. I suppose I wanted to see how this all ends. I knew the... Wait, what? I knew the wind with the camp and was angry with Rannig's death, but I didn't think she would really kill the Baron. You missed the trial, Andreas. Wait, what? 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 They killed? They are going to kill her? No. There is that's impossible. I'm not having that. Ah. Oh. What? Here. Okay. This time we will do it. Uh, please say your name for our course. Yeah, that one. Uh, that. I will go easier on uh, the prior. And then maybe I can still uh, save his skin. Okay, now we can oh wait, we can bring this up. We don't have okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. This is it. I'm only going to bring her up. And that's it. Okay. I have it. This time it will work. We're gonna mention about the notes. Okay, please work, please work. Okay. Alright, here we go. And I just didn't think you were coming to this. I don't think I was either. I suppose I wanted to see how this ends after all. Yes, we got it. So we now saved the, the widow's house. So now she can... She doesn't have to be worried about losing it. And the one I think killed her... Killed... Um, um, the noble. We'll now get her punishment. Perfect. I'm very satisfied with this. 
Uh, I can't believe that Sister Matilda would kill anyone. I've seen her in the town so many times. She seemed so nice. You missed the trial, Andreas. That Archdeacon read all of the charges and found her guilty. Nice or not? It seems she killed the Baron all the same. Just to show you can't assume anything about anyone. Oh, here comes the prose prosecution. Did I miss anything? No, you're fine. Andreas? Also. This is it. try to even pronounce all this this isn't right they can't do this stop quiet veronica i don't want anna to see this silence silence in the order the executioner i ordered the execution execution to carry out his duty i warrant him peace and safe conduct whatever may befall him lord into your hands i commit my spirit uh watch Table Strangler? Well, that was a bit anticlimax. Well, she's gone. I'm happy with that. My, my lord judge, have I executed well? You have executed as judgment and law has required. For that I thank God and my master who has taught me such art. Oh great. Hi there, Andreas. His reverence the uh, Orgdeon spoke with me, you know. I told him to. So you don't deny telling him about Sister Matilda? Why would I hide it? Why would you? Do you even understand what you've done? I've done anything it was to serve Hero's, save Hero's life. Someone killed a Baron and you know it wasn't him. True, but I don't believe it was Sister Matilda either. What happened here today is a tragedy. Find comfort in the Lord. That's all I can do, and yes. Ah, uh, my friend. Andreas, has the time come for you to leave us? I'm afraid so, Brother Piero. This farewell will have to be brief. But you know, made it clear I was no longer welcome at Kersau. I pray the time will uh, soften Father Abbott's heart. I hope he eventually realized you were only trying to help me. This is a sad parting, but inevitable. I had hoped it would stay a bit longer. But the world needs you more than Kersau does. You have grown beyond this old abbey and become a master in your own right. I will miss you, my son. As I will you. Come, your masterpiece is complete. May I see it one last time before you go? Please. I suppose it's not everything you... Yeah, please, I value your assessment. The opinion of one old monk matters little. All the same, I am excited to see it finished la at last. It's beautiful. It's a family where we stay and everything. It is a masterpiece truly worthy of the world. And appears she took my advice to heart. 
What advice was that? To put yourself in their work. Not to just imper interpret another artist's work, but to transform it into something true. It shows the wor the world as it is, as you have uh, as you have seen it. Even if it's not what m what we may have wanted to see. Though it is not my place to say so. I'm proud of you, Andreas. What's that? What's this? A your parchment. Do not return here. A warning? Whose hand is this? It doesn't look like Brother Ed or so Brother Guys. But the floor and I found similar note in the Baron's clothing. And I found more notes delivered to others while I was investigating. They must have been writing to someone who knew the darkest secrets of the town and this abbey. They tugged at uh, those secrets to kill the Baron, like someone pulling at the threads um, that had been buried in the past. A frightening thought, but who would do such a thing? I wish I knew. Do not trouble yourself overly about it. Your future lies outside these walls. I hope that, we have the, that you will have uh, time to visit me once or twice in your travels before the Lord takes me. I will come as often as I can. Assuming Father Gernot does not forbid, forbid it. We must have faith that better days lies ahead for all of us. God bless you, Andreas Mahler. Uh, thank you for your friendship. Until next time. Uh, what the hell? No! No! Is he dead? No! Who the hell are you? Are you alright, Master Andreas? Uh, what? Are you alright, Master Andreas? Yes, thank you. I was just remembering him. Trying to, anyway. It doesn't come easily anymore. Oh, would you like me to leave you alone? No, 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 Casper. It's not necessary. There's nothing to be done about it now. No, it's too late. Like so many things. Ma Andreas Mahler. I never expected to see your face here again. Have you been in Nuremberg for these last seven years? No, Nuremberg for a few years, but I received some lucrative commissions abroad. Uh, pick a background of a character. Okay, where we went to? Um, okay, well, England, maybe. Andreas knows some English and can reference cultural touchstones from London and other parts of Britain. I was in London mostly. I was well received there and painted portraits for the nobility and the prominent merchants. Did you encounter any use among your clients? No. But there were rumors uh, of a home for Jewish converts to uh, Christianity in the city. Why? I had heard of a handful of physicians naturalized as citizens over the ex expulsion. I wonder if they might have found a home in England after the recent ejection from Portugal and Navarra. I am surprised you care at all. In spite of your e extensive travels, you're still not welcome e at the uh, Curacao. The abbot has forgotten what happened. Seven years isn't all that long. I was just passing through on my way back from to Nuremberg as I was stopped in. I simply wanted to pay my respect to an old friend. Surely you would understand that. I understand why Father ever expelled you from the abbey. What were you expecting? A hero's welcome? I didn't get Master Matilda killed. It was her own doing. The Archdeacon found her guilty. What should I be held responsible for it? Andreas, get out. Uh, why is he so rude? Leave. Uh, revolution? That monk seemed unhappy to see you, Master Andreas. Why was Abbot so angry with you? 
towards the end of my stay in Tay, saying there was a murder at Kisau Abbey. A nobleman. Father Gear not panicked and accused my friend uh, Brother Piero of committing the crime. I helped uh, convince the investigation investigating Archon that one of the nuns was responsible, my sister Matilda. She was executed for the crime. You got someone killed? No. I collected evidence and presented it truthfully. The Archdeacon is one of the one is the one who made the ruling. Well you couldn't let your friend die. Why didn't you mention it before? Well I suppose it must have been a hard situation about if I, if the abbot is still mad at you. I had to make some difficult choices. Maybe they were the wrong ones? I've had, maybe they were the wrong ones. I've had to live with it. Hard yes bro is exhilarating. I don't think I understand, Master, but never mind. Why are we in tasting now? I want to pay my respect to Brother Piero. And to be honest, I'm not looking forward to returning to Nuremberg. This commission is an obscene vanity piece under the pretext of a religious scene. My patrons just want to celebrate themselves and their wealth. I dread each new commission more than the last. Every step I take towards home is agonizing. But Master, you're famous and rich. Your work is wonderful. When I saw your altarpiece in Nuremberg, I begged my father to help me become your apprentice. I don't understand how you could accomplish all that you have and be unhappy. You know, it must be hard to believe. I was once very much like you. Once I wanted this life to be much that it consumed me every waking thought. I don't know if I changed or if I wanted... If I want... Or if I... Or if what I wanted was never really real. Maybe I've been a fool this whole time. I want a life as an artist to be better for you, Casper. Learn from my mistakes, alright? Alright, Master Andreas. I shouldn't be burning you with such dark thoughts, Casper. Come, let's visit my old friend Klaus. It's been too long. I'll see you alive, Master Andreas. Okay. Um. Yeah. That is a good place as any. We've been uh, at it for quite long and my voice is on the brink of destruction. So, um... Uh, we're gonna be continu continuing with this tomorrow. But I'm really enjoying it. It's a really nice game. A little bit slow maybe at the beginning, but it really became really interesting. I really like it. Obsidian is really nice to make uh, storytelling tell games, so... Is after all what they are probably best at but anyway uh, I will uh, be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. 7 p.m. summertime and uh, then uh, no not Central European time not uh, summertime and then we'll continue so thank you very much for watching and I'll see everyone hopefully tomorrow until then take care and good night everyone bye